Oh, what's up, peeps? Welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, peeps, it looks like Blueface Family, the forever toxic family, man, is actually coming out and giving some information about their mom, Carlisa. Now, guys, we already know she's toxic, and she had a lot to do with Blueface's relationship, but it looks like she definitely destroyed a lot of lives in the process. Now, it's no wonder the reason why Blueface treats Krishan and Jaden the way that he actually does, guys. So it looks like the brother actually is coming out and spewing all kind of stuff about his mom on the internet. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go take this lie detector test right now, too, right? So we can see. So when I take it and we see who telling the truth and who lying, bro, I don't want to hear no shit. Like, if you want to disprove it, you can go take him on your dancer, but you're not going to do that because you fucking lie too much. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and y'all tune in. I'm going to post it on my story, my lie detector test. Y'all tune in for that. Now, this stuff is deep. So if y'all haven't subscribed already, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, you got to watch this entire video. Now, Blueface's brother came on his IG story, talked about his mom teaching him how to eat coochie. And also talked about how she used to finesse him and steal money from Blueface. Now, in one post, he said, How you eat your own kids for the bag, all three of them. You special for real, for real. I be trying to go to bat for you, but you been a monster my whole life. Beat up all your closest friends for a long time. I wanted to blame John, but it was you. You sacrificed your own flesh and blood for vanity. I don't love you. I tried, but something is wrong with your evil ass. I felt disrespected when Rock whooped for my own personal reason, but you was wrong. That's why you got your ass whooped and kicked in the head at 50. I created the whole show, directed every episode. Then when the bad came, you forced everyone else out so you wouldn't have to share while both your kids were struggling. And you got 60K plus 10K a month on Patreon. SB different. Tried to forgive you after you and your husband jumped me for threatening my newborn daughter, talking about it could be her who threatened the baby, let alone their own grandchild over arguing about dogs at 7 a.m. Should have known you was evil then. Then he came and said, Callie, which is Blueface's sister, left the show because you wasn't paying nobody. Making almost 10K, you a weirdo and you selfish. You've been like that my whole life. Then tries to steal my clothing brand. Like for what? Then he says, you made me take you out to eat every day, sometimes twice a day, plus the hundred here and there every other day because I was trying to be what I thought was real. I spent 6K in three months on you while I was supposed to be saving and build, directed, cast it, and help produce the show. The S nice as well be called Dre. Look at it. You can see all my people in the show then after all that. That's 10K a month and still going up every day. Wanted to pay her kids with clout, her flesh and blood. Who lit inside of her. She was trying to be a mom. She was just slow and ducking unprotected. I was even cool with not being paid. I was going to do my own thing with my book and start a podcast. And use the show as a platform and let her keep all the money. And then she talking about I'm dropping. I am man. Had sketches and everything drawn out already. This is a brand I've been working on since prison. Can you imagine my face, bro? She did the same thing with comedy at Blues Fish. And so let me make it get stated. And then she excised me and gave it to her husband. Talking about he always wanted a comedy club. He should have effing made one while I'm on parole and couldn't get a decent job because I had a felony and she knows this. Then he posted a pair of some knockoff Air Force Ones. It says, got into a fight in middle school because a kid clowned me for wearing these and still got in trouble. Again, three different cars in the driveway at this time. I tried to give you a second chance and let the past go heal from the scars. And he just took the opportunity to make new ones. Why don't you care about love or can't emotionally connect with people? Because I had to deal with your on the spectrum ass. To be honest, I think you slow for real. Got some type of disorder. I'm dead serious. Who does what you do then blame everyone else when you the center of every ducking instance? Talking about letting a girl beat you. You let two different husbands out put their hands on me because you went to prison. Because you think being a mom is done by the world. You never taught me S except how to eat P. One time, which was weird as F, I learned everything. 
I ever knew on my own. I forgot you exist most of my life. I had to catch the bus home from the game, sit outside, catch a ride home with a janitor, getting good grades. I'm two different sport teams. All two can say is let me drive a car when I got my license. S, you had three of them, and it was only so you didn't have to take nobody to school. Now, man, come on. A mom teaching her son to eat pee? That is crazy. Now, this is wild. Now, he already said his mom is on the spectrum. I mean, you can't get no slower than that. And I don't knock the man, you know what I'm saying? I know you got to respect your parents, but also... Uh, the Bible indicates, lead not your children to wrath. So it definitely sounds like she didn't give no two dams about her kids. Blue, him, or Carlisa, man. This is absolutely wild. Now, he goes on to say, your old ass gonna rot wherever they put you. Never be around me again. Watch for my book. Tell you the truth about this weirdo. Couldn't get rich. So you tried to turn your son into him. I just tried to love you as a son, but every time... You have been the one who was wrong when you threw the food in Jaden's face while she was pregnant, gassing up Jonis, throwing bottles at Rock, fake trying to pretend to be her friend, threatening your grandchild with violence over an argument, then be flirting with ninjas around me and got a whole husband. That don't sound like the behavior of a monster stealing from John. You have just done it all. Now, stealing from Blueface, that's crazy, man. Like, now it makes more sense, guys. This is this is groundbreaking. Now we finally understand why he was always getting into it with his mom, kicking his mom and his sister out the house. Now it all makes sense, man. She been stealing from him and being a terrible ass mom. Now he actually had more to say. Make sure y'all stay tuned on this here. She's the reason I struggle in my relationships, being raised by a woman that like make it hard to see any good in any of when your mama don't give a F about consistently and out men before I lost my whole life because I couldn't get along with her dude. Because of her, though. Then went to prison shortly after she didn't come look for me, her 15-year-old son, for five months. Let somebody tell her I'm grown, give up. I heard her on speakerphone agree. At that point, I stopped caring about my life for real. Started gangbanging heavy. The Crips took me in. Let the street have both of your sons. Now your daughter on Global Tail Link. You need Dr. Phil because you look people in the face and give parenting advice. I ran away before my birthday in Aries. This was the third time I ran away. I didn't see her again until September. Bro, mom, where? You gave me $500 and sent me on my way as a felon. All she came up with was the name Six Eye. <clears throat> she wanted to make the S about her and her friends drinking wine all day. Think she gonna be the next NeNe Leaks. Man talking about Section 8, you the Section 8 queen, had me breaking down food stamps to ride the bus home from school with reforced ones on while you out again have three cars in that effing driveway. I stuck with you because I thought all you needed was love and you s in my face. Everybody knows I was your biggest supporter. I'm glad this happened before you sent me on a dummy mission like Cali. Then he actually goes to break down about how he don't really know who his real father is. And the mom allegedly put him on some other dude that she was cool with. Y'all check this out. Now he says, I'm named after a whole other ninja who ain't even my dad. And she kept me away from my real dad to keep up the lie. Robbed me of a relationship with my father because you was embarrassed and named me after a ninja you knew wasn't my dad that you had an actual crush on. I had a girl and already never taught me how to read. I was in ESL classes till fourth grade with Spanish speakers, bro. And the only reason I got out is because I changed schools and they lost my record. Went from house hopping, been to 10 elementary schools, three middle schools, and every big school in LAUSD. I live with my grandma twice. I live with my aunt Suzette. I live with my aunt Carletta. Then I went to prison at 16. Mom, where? You're a horrible, evil, sadistic person. Don't go to church, but be trying to condemn people. Since you love going viral for the truth, you gassed up Jonice to slide for you, then didn't even go with her to get your lit back. You a BS big homie type, but somebody mom. Hashtag never had a chance. Talk about how you left me at random stranger's house. Disappeared for most of my adolescence. Didn't even know you like that till I was four. Literally took me to somebody's graduation and left me there. Just ditched me. 
Every other chance you got, I don't live with everybody and everybody always treated me better than you literally left me for months with a stranger. Carlisa Jenner. Talk about abandoning your child, literally. Just took me there and left for months. I was a house-hopping homeless three-year-old. I had two birthdays in my whole life. You would shop at the dollar store for Christmas presents with three cars in the driveway. One year, she made up a lie and said we couldn't get none because we was bad, bro. Stop. I could go on and on in a real way, but I'm going to say for my book, Being Raised by Carlissa, The Monster. Hitting the MFing with hammers because you can't stop effing on they do. Then he posted and said, but want to run and take credit for our achievements. Whenever you do good on your own, you ain't the mother of Blueface. You the mother of Jonathan. And you left him in a car and gave up on him and went to bed peacefully. Didn't think of him again until you saw him on TV. And by a job, I mean a couple of tricks. Because my whole life, you worked one time, you wasn't providing, putting all these weird A ninjas around your kids. Both of your sons skinny because your lazy A never cooked. Your daughter head in the cloud with Globatel link twerking. The only reason we persevere is because you raised up so far on the bottom that there was nowhere else to go but up. I literally built and directed the whole show is me every scene that we use because you have no real talent other than talking about rock on live. Tell her go viral for talent. Then when the money come in, she trying to pay MFs with clout her own kids. She just got 60K from the settlement, then 8K on Patreon and talking about paying her kids and clout. We put our real lives up there, not you, nothing about you on there. You have nothing interesting going on. You sit in your room on live all day, yelling at the phone. You psychotic for real and selfish on an undescribable level. I helped your dream come true because I love you and you took a S in my face and tried to steal my clothing brand and my book. And now she wants to do a podcast. All you was doing was yelling at the fake pages on live for three years talking about Netflix is coming. Had to argue with her for days telling her she could shoot it herself and put it out on a streaming platform. Who argued with a crackhead bodybuilder then running a 15 year old son room and then watch me like this man for both our lives? Not once but twice. You beat up all your friends and you even jumped your own mom on the way back from Oakland. You're literally scrim as they daily. They are don't get started on the child abuse wonder cause I'm crazy. You would beat me cause you was mad at your whack life every time you got bored and talk all that. But looks up talking about son call your homies. It's cool to be game banging when it helps your spiteful ass. Had me fighting grown crackhead. Then threw me out for the ninjas. Then I was ducking 15 and I went to prison cause I was loving on the steer for six months. Still trying to go to school. I'm sorry, but you would never in real life believe the love we had to endure because of this woman's vanity. You left John homeless, then tried to show up begging after he got rich and blame him after he almost died sleeping in cars. You moved to a whole other state, left me in California prison, would own three cars but didn't have money for the phone or the commissary. I'm 15 having to protect my mom from this man and she's starting the fights and running in my room while I'm sleeping minding my own business. Bro, this grown ass crack fiend kicked me in the face. 40 something year old man for no reason of mine when I was in the ninth grade cause you still ducking your side ninja who put their child in that not once but twice. I had to hit this man with a metal pal, a literal effing bodybuilder, crackhead, and you would consistently instigate you a bull s female, the worst. I'm sorry. Just keep it real and say you're a horrible mother along with your sisters. Not all, but most, because all my cousins dead or in jail or on paper, and most under 30. How you letting people vouch for you being a good mom and they son in jail? You would lie like a dog in heat, like without even thinking about it. Never had a fair chance. We never even had fair second chances. Just take my pictures down off your show and put your podcast picture. I'm happy for your miserable A. I tried to stick it out with you when the whole world was against you. You could have the show. If God let you keep it, it's from him. I don't know what's wrong with you. This was your plan from the gate. Even tried to steal my book and cut it. And the show literally used the family to get you on. You didn't know when. What the F a Patreon was you use your kid's pain? to make a show. Even John there is nothing about you, all the other than yelling at the people for being late. 
use your kids after being an absent shirt mom who got three kids and always got time to be outside and have a job and be trying to be a movie star. I raised your kids while you was out chasing rich ninjas. Your pitiful mother of all our lives. I respected you out trying to be real, but you're a dochies up individual who has never tried to suffer for your actions. You let your kids do that and then ate them. I honestly just don't understand the greed you was already winning. It's something deep and dark and black in your heart, Carlisa. Now guys, this is absolutely crazy. Now we all knew that their mom was on one. Like we all knew she was different. But this just makes all the more sense, man. She been a hood rat chick. Like, that's pretty much what she is, man. You know what I'm saying? You left your kids homeless. You left Blueface to, to grow up in a car, living in the car. You know, you got your daughter twerking for money. You got your other son. He defending you from a bodybuilder for some dude you done messed up on. Man, this is absolutely crazy, man. They need to take her social media away, man. Cancel this lady. Um, man, it's unfortunate that some moms are like this, guys. And, I, you know, my heart do go out. Um, to Blueface and his family, man. Usually, you know, I criticize them for the behavior, but I mean them, like, you know, this is your mom. This is somebody you look up to, so you can't help but come out real messed up, you know, from that type of environment, man. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. How do y'all feel about Carlisa, the Instagram clout chasing ass mother, ruining her kids like this, man? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Make sure y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share these videos, and I'm gonna peep y'all on the next one. Hello.